In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a tight neck in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over at-home, safe, effective stretching exercises that can get rid of neck tightness quickly, even in as little as 30 seconds. This video is going to be split up into separate parts that all work together. So if you're looking to get the best results, go through all the parts, all the exercises, and take what is most effective towards getting rid of your neck tightness. With that being said, let's get started. In the first part, let's focus on getting rid of muscle knots, muscle spasms, trigger points, those things that cause a lot of tightness and neck pain. And I'm going to be doing what I like to call the $2 muscle fix because it gets its name from using two tennis balls, which are roughly a dollar. You can get these pretty much anywhere, locally or online. I'm also going to be using a small plastic shopping sack that I got locally. Put the tennis balls in that shopping sack, tie a knot so they're nice and firm. The great part is now we have a handle that we can use to place these two balls right at the top of the neck. So I'm going to go next to a door or a wall. Let's place the two tennis balls right at the base of the neck. And we're going to focus on two small muscles called the suboccipitals that tend to cause a lot of issues, including headaches. What I want to do is start off by just lowering the chin down towards my chest as much as I can. You can also draw the head forward if you feel like you need an extra stretch. You should really feel it at the base of the skull. Once we have that position, what I'm going to do is then angle my body slightly so take your feet away from the door so you're kind of angled towards the door and then just press into those two tennis balls and when you do this it's going to feel really really good I like to just then further take my chin down as much as I can try to put enough pressure in there that you feel comfortable and hold this for 15 to 20 seconds relax and then you can repeat this three to five times. With each repetition, try to drive back even further to help release those muscle knots or spasms. You can also go side to side. You can do a nice squatting position, go up and down. Explore the area and go with what is the most effective. From there, you can lower the sack down just a little bit to target more into the mid-neck. You can take this pretty much from the base of the skull all the way down to the top of the shoulders and repeat. It's just a very easy, efficient way to be able to target those neck muscles safely. So if we're dealing with more tightness on the side of the neck instead of the back of the neck, here's a great way to use our tennis ball to address that. What I'm going to do is cup the tennis ball like this and use it as a pinpoint massage tool instead of rolling. I think you get better results. Whatever side that we're focusing on, let's say the right side in this case, I'm going to take the opposite side's ear to that shoulder with a lateral bend. I'm going to grab the head and just pull it over just like this. This is going to open up that side of the neck. Let's take our tennis ball like this, and what I'm going to do is start at the base of the skull and work my way down towards the top of the shoulder. I am not going to go over the front of the neck, only the side. So once we get into that position where we're pulling it over, let's cup the ball right here, press into the side of the neck, and do a nice circular motion with it, only to your comfort level. You want to do this for about 10 to 15 seconds. From there, just relax, take a breather, and then try to draw the ear over just a little bit more to open up that side of the neck and then repeat by applying a little bit more pressure too to get that to self-release even further. Try to do three to five complete repetitions each time going a little bit further with it. From there you can work your way down all the way to the top of the shoulder, go over different spots as needed, pinpoint the areas that need it, and then switch to the other side. So another area that a lot of people get muscle tightness and achiness is the top part of the shoulder going into the neck. There's a muscle called the upper trapezius that we're going to focus on. We just need our tennis ball and a door frame. Lay flat on your back, take the tennis ball, go over that spot that you're feeling. Lay flat completely on your back and then drive your upper body weight from your shoulder into the tennis ball into the door frame as much as you feel comfortable only to the point where it's a nice self massage once we get to that point let's do nice slow controlled breathing and hold this for 15 to 20 seconds from there you can relax and then repeat up to three to five times each time you do it drive your upper body weight into it even further to get that to self massage and hopefully get more tension out if it still feels like the muscle is not wanting to release we can incorporate some dynamic movement in there to hopefully get more out of it so let's press our body weight into the door as much as we can and then i'm just going to take my head and turn it in the opposite direction the more that I turn my head, the more that this is going to activate. So only go to your comfort level. 
What we want to do is hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, take a breather and relax, and then just simply repeat this three to five times, again, challenging yourself more with each repetition. You can then switch over different spots as needed or to the other side. In this part, we're going to focus on getting everything stretched out and hopefully lead to a lot more mobility or range of motion into the neck. This one is one of my personal favorites because it really helps pinpoint areas that need more attention. We just need to lay flat on our back. You can do this one in bed or on the floor. What I'm going to do is start off by doing a simple chin tuck. Drive the chin down towards the chest as much as you can. When you do this, you should feel the muscles in the neck already start to activate. I'm going to then take my arms and then bring them down like this, and then I'm going to turn my arms to the point where the backside of the hands are going to be on that flat surface. Let's then lower the elbows down towards our feet as much as we can to form a W shape with our arms and our upper back. This will feel like a great stretch into the upper back in between the shoulder blades. From there, I'm just going to turn my head in any direction. This case will be my left. The more that I turn my head, the more it's going to activate those muscles into the neck, so go as far as you feel comfortable. Once we hit that point, let's lower the chin down even further. This will activate those neck muscles. It feels great. Try to hold this one for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, take a breather, and then on the next repetition, drive the elbows down even more, turn the head even further to get that to really focus on getting rid of more tightness into the neck itself. You want to do this for three to five repetitions, but it's a good way to be able to go through motions of the neck and really focus on spots and movements that feel a little bit more achy and a little bit more tight. And what you do on one side, always switch to the other to keep them both in balance. So here's a wonderful stretching exercise that's going to do a self-massage, reduce muscle tightness, and improve neck range of motion all at once. Not too bad, huh? All we need is a hand drying towel like this. Roll it up, place it on the back side of the neck where you're feeling a lot of that tightness. Take the two ends, just pull them forward as much as you feel comfortable. This should start a nice self-massage already. Let's go through all the ranges of motions of the neck at this point. What I'm going to do is pull on the two ends as much as I can, and then I'm just going to do a simple chin tuck. Go down as far as you feel comfortable. Once we hit that point, hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds, come back up, and then do three to five repetitions. From there, what we can do is go into extension. That is taking the chin up towards the ceiling as much as we can while pulling on these two ends. We can then do a lateral bend. That is taking the ear towards the shoulder. Do the same thing. 10 to 15 second holds on all of these, three to five repetitions. Go to the other side, and then we can do rotation. That is just simply looking over the shoulder as much as you can. But when you do this, you're going to feel that the muscles get massaged by this towel right here, and you're really able to pinpoint areas that feel achy. Move the towel up and down completely throughout the neck, target areas that need it a little bit more, and focus on the movements that feel locked up and tight, throw more repetitions in there, and it's just an easy way to get tightness out by pinpointing areas that need it the most. In this part, we're going to focus on getting rid of neck tightness with a nice self-mobilization technique that might end with a satisfying pop or crack. Let's lay flat on our back in bed or on the floor. We just need a small towel, roll it up, place it on the back side of the neck right here. The more relaxed the neck is, the better the results you're going to get with this. So make sure that it's really nice and supportive of the curve into the neck. What I'm going to do from there is I'm going to go into a lateral bend. Whatever side that you're focusing on, let's say that I have more tightness on my right, I'm going to take the opposite side's ear, in this case my left, towards my left shoulder by just grabbing onto the head like this, pulling it over. The more that you pull over, the more it's going to open up these joints, so only go to your comfort level. You might get an immediate pop or crack. That is completely normal. That's just gases being released from the joints. But once you get to a point where it's a very comfortable stretch, hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. You're just going to relax, and then from there, repeat this three to five times. As a note, do not try to force the crack or pop. If it's going to go, it's going to go. The point of this is to increase range of motion, not to get that knuckle crack sensation. But you want to just do this one on each side three to five times to make sure that they're kept in balance. If you feel like it's still locked up and it's not improving with this stretch right here, what we can do is add a little bit of a rotational component. So let's go back into that position as far as we're able to. Let's make a fist with the other side 
and I'm going to place it on the inside of the chin right here. So my right fist is going to go on the inside of my left part of the chin. What I'm going to do from there is push up at about 45 degrees towards the ceiling. And when I do this, it's going to put a little bit more of a passive stretch into the neck only to your comfort level. You want to, again, hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. You're going to relax, and then on the next repetition, drive even further to challenge yourself to open this one up by taking the ear to the shoulder and put a little bit more rotation in there. But the odds are, once that muscle's relaxed, you could end up getting a nice, again, satisfying pop or crack. Do both sides equally, and I hope that gets rid of a lot of muscle tightness. So another great way to get rid of neck muscle tightness is to use decompression traction or pulling motions to help stretch the muscles out and also open up the joint spaces. All we need is a flat elevated surface. The edge of a bed works perfectly. You can also use a countertop, a chair, a desk, anything that is flat and sturdy. We're going to start off on our knees, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath them for extra comfort. Let's go up to that flat surface. What I'm going to do is take my elbows, bend them like this, put them at the edge for an anchor point. I'm going to take my hands, they're going to go on the top of the shoulders on the upper back just like this. My forehead is going to rest comfortably on the edge of that flat surface. We're going to do a modified yoga pose called the child's pose. It's very easy. What I'm going to do is just lower my butt down towards the heels as much as I can. The further you go down, the more intense the stretch, so only go to your comfort level. You'll feel it in the neck, going into the upper back, all the way to the lower back, possibly to the tailbone. Challenge yourself to go down as far as you can. Once we hit that point, hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. You just relax, take a breather, and then repeat this one three to five times. Again, challenging yourself to go down a little bit more each time. The second part, what I'm going to focus on, is a little bit more into the neck. Let's take a hand drying towel, roll it up, place it right at the base of the skull. Our elbows are going to go up again, but I'm going to pull forward with the two ends, do a slight chin tuck towards the chest, and then I'm just going to lower my butt, again, down towards the heel. You're going to feel this one more into the neck, and again, only to your comfort level. The further you go down, the more intense the stretch. Hold this one comfortably, 15 to 20 seconds. You're just going to come back up, take a breather, and then just simply repeat this three to five times. Challenge yourself each time to go a little bit further to help stretch everything out and hopefully knock out more of that neck muscle tightness. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.